Daytona 2015. Where are you at? Didn't quite have the fence strike, but look at the air he's going to get right here. Launched up in the air by the five car with all the contact. We'll look directly out of AD's eyeballs here as everything goes wrong. Fighting for the lane, and you get a hell of a view from up there. You can even see the little Goodyear Star Destroyer, or whatever that thing is in the sky. Just skidding around, slamming into things. Still had time to pack the 48 car, even after that wild ride. Now from the roof cam, just to give you an even better view of the chaos up over. You get a pretty good view of the track from up there. He had a better view than some of the seats in the grandstands. There's that last hit on the Ally car. And I don't think this car is going to be able to drive away from that one. But hell, then we can barely drive away from the start of this one. We barely get off the line getting away, and we get a five-car wreck for our troubles trying to sneak through the middle. And this one's basically a lost cause. So what do we do around here? We got to cause some trouble, and we are going to be picking on this 43 car. We've been bullying the other 43 car enough today, so we got to even the playing field, even the score a little bit. And we got some beef. He's coming back and laying the hits on me. But that is going to be enough to at least get him roadblocked in the way. And here comes the pack racing on by Dale Hart Jr. at 195 miles an hour with nowhere to go. Right into the fuel cell of the 43. And yeah, trying to drive away from that one. I don't think that's quite going to work for you. As Dale's just carrying his car along. We're going to back our car up into traffic and see what we can do. Oh my goodness. That was a KO hit right in the seat. That is gonna be all she wrote for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That is gonna be a call for the tarp. We just got buried in the passenger side of our own car right through the door. That's disgusting, like actually atrocious. But what can you do? You gotta get right back on the horse. How about four wide under the line, trying to rejoin. You just send yourself over and doing a little Mayan Snyder impression, but no fence to be found here. We're gonna skate on our roof. When I saw that Mayan Snyder wreck with my own eyes, I've never seen anything like it until the next day when Harrison Burton flipped two. But you know what I mean? That was crazy. Of course, all that goes down once I show up. You see what I can do out here? My chaotic energy alone inspired all of that. I am convinced, just like this 32 turning himself across the nose of Dale Jr. It gets T-Bone right in the wheel, and that is going to tear a bunch of them up as they are still piling in and sliding around. That is a huge wreck. We got a couple cars looking like they're ready to take the road course down here. Just when you think it's done to add insult to injury, when your own wheel comes back and hits you right in the face, that's just rude. And talk about learning your lesson. We still got cars turning themselves in front of the leaders and other cars and over as the Wood Brothers machine, once again, much like the real 500 efforts, go for a ride, but with a random manufacturer change. Nobody pay attention to that. And here are the Hendrick Mobiles, once again, getting ready to cost Rick a lot of money, and it is getting ugly out here. We got a couple cars flipping. Kurt Busch over the 43, over the pack, and Cole Trickle through the smoke, and through two cars on his lid. Both ends of the car destroyed. Slide into a stop in the infield. These Gen 6 Camaros are insane. This mod is nuts, and this isn't even the only mod. Someone also took one that looks literally to be just all of the cars from NASCAR Heat 5 and just threw them in Beam NG. Definitely seems to be a bit of a quantity over quality situation, whereas the Camaro mod is just, uh, the crashes are a lot more visually nice. As you can see here, these ones, they get a little weird. Those cars, they deform maybe a little too much, but they look ridiculous and they are wrecked all the same. So that is that. We also have options for other racetracks like this Talladega one that I think is taken from one of the NASCAR Thunder games from back in the day. It definitely wrecks my FPS a little bit. I probably need a new computer pretty soon as it is. Might need to get on building one of those, but my wallet says, owie, as a wheel is flying by our view. What a spectacular sight is. We're gonna start to wind this thing down with another view of this wreck. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see in future installments here. Mods, tracks, suggest anything you'd like. We'll try to make it happen. And thank you everybody for watching as always. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I sure hope you did because this one was a lot of fun to make. It's good to be back. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next one.